Hey everybody. So today I wanted to talk to you about some things that have come across my desk that I think need to be talked about. Um, you know, in Texas, we have talent agents that you sign on with um, for them to represent you and make sure that you are submitted for two casting directors for work and that you are, and that they follow up with those. Um, if you audition for something, that's what a talent agent does. They submit you um, a licensed talent agent. Um, in Texas, there is a lot of um, agents and some even call themselves managers. Texas does not need managers, okay? You don't need somebody to manage you. You need an agent that can submit you um, and the agent should really battle for you and fight for you and submit you for roles and also follow up once they submit you. So that's what an agent does. Management, in, in really in Texas, if you have an agent, um, you don't need a manager, okay? Um, there are a lot of people who claim to be managers and agents who are not qualified. Um, anybody can put themselves out there and say, hey, I'm a management company, I manage actors, and put all this believable stuff on there that that really draw people in who don't really know the difference. So uh, they're not licensed. Um, and there's agents that do that too, they're people that call themselves agents. There's also a lot of casting websites um, that these casting websites, the only ones that are legit, um, Actors Access, um, Casting Frontier, Casting Networks, generally agencies and casting directors will go through those only. Anything else is not a legitimate site. There's a lot of sites, and I won't mention names again, but there's a lot of them, um, that say they manage talent and they do mass marketing to draw you in. You pay them quite a bit of money and they send out these, uh, they copy and paste other uh, casting notices to their pages to make it appear that that was sent to them and then they can then forward it to their actors. But what they do is just go copy and paste. Um, so they're not legitimate. Then they just send out mass emails with um, unprofessional looking uh, resumes and headshots in one page that really won't get you work. Okay, so you must have an agent, uh, a good licensed agent. And in order to get a good licensed agent, you have to train and coach with an acting coach in your area that is familiar with all the agents in your area. Okay. Because your acting coach will train you for six months to a year and it may be ongoing. I know actors that have been training for 15, 20 years still coaching and training. Um, and they keep up with that, their skill level. So it's just like with any other job, you keep up with the changing times. Things are changing. So in order to do that, your, your coaches can refer you to a good agent and say, this actor's ready. They're ready to get out there. They know what they're doing. They know how to audition, the audition process process, the cold reads, you name it, they can do it. They know what to do. So um, they're very good. And so your coach can refer you. Then the agent will take you on. If they sign you on, then they should start submitting you um, to jobs. And so you want to make sure that you follow up with your agent, make sure that they are submitting you. You might want to mention, um, you know, jobs or uh, castings that they may not have seen or maybe that you want to submit for always ask your your agent and tell your agent that you want to submit for that and see that they follow up and that they're communicating with the the castings okay so that's one thing managers there is no such thing as management um there's some that are out of the state of texas some that come in from florida i know that there's actors here that are signed on with these uh, i will tell you that agencies the talent agent a licensed talent agent will probably not take you on if you have one of these managers. Okay, so I'm just letting you know that difference. Um, I would not have a manager at this time because unless they're licensed, the only reason you see uh, larger scale actors, uh, union actors 
who are in LA or New York. Now they have a team. They have to have a team of a publicist, a manager. The, the manager is what they do and the publicist are a team together to get them to events or to an award show, make sure they're on the red carpet, make sure that they get there. And a lot of times the publicist and the manager will pay those fees to have their actor on those, okay? And then they have their agent. So they have a team, they have a talent agent, they might have a publicist and a manager. Um, unless you're making that type of money and you have tons of years of theatrical releases, movies that you start in, you don't need a manager, okay? So people get confused here. And really when they go into this industry, they're not sure what, who and does what. So I'm just letting you know. I do, however, I do, however, believe that times are changing and with so much media and content, there's networks, there's cable, there's YouTube, there's web, there's all sorts of streaming. There's just tons of streaming. And content that is needed um, for all these different networks. There's lots of work out there, folks. And I think actors should be working all the time. All the time. So I think that there should be a changing of the guard, so to speak, and a new guard step in. So I think the times have changed enough to where actors should be submitting and uh, submitting themselves for roles and looking out. You be proactive with your career. Um, you're the one that needs to take charge of it. Okay. Always, always consult with your agent, but you need to be proactive in getting yourself out there. Okay. Um, there's nothing wrong with promoting yourself. Um, except when you constantly say, I booked it, I booked it, I booked it. Wait until you have something legitimate, a clip after it's aired that you can show people. Then you can start showing those things. Instead of in Texas, I know in Texas, they're just terrible about this. I booked it. I booked it. I've been, you know, it's okay to talk about your work coming up or something. You don't have to mention names, but I've got some great work coming up. I'm really excited. Um, things like that. But constantly saying, I booked it. Hey, I'm on this. I'm on that. Wait until it comes out. Then you can show a clip or, you know, behind the scenes, things like that. That's great to promote yourself. Okay. So I just want to share that. I am wholeheartedly wholeheartedly in this for the actors, for you guys to make sure that you work, you're successful. So I want to teach you these things, but I do believe that with coaching and training, good headshots, um, a good demo reel, small clips, um, you know, that you can send out to let people know who you are, you know, attend festivals, support your local filmmakers, go to their little red carpet premieres. Um, always, always be included in these so you can meet people and meet people in the industry it actually helps you to network okay so but I'm, I'm here for you um, I think things need to change and need to make it better um, and people should be allowed to work they should be allowed to work I think that zip code and age and are, are changing and people at certain age groups don't no longer look like that they're, they're not the age group that they were back in the 70s and 80s and even the 90s um, people change and they look actually better, uh, more mature people look better today. I, I, I can't, I don't have any other way of explaining that, but the, the look is changing. And so I think people should be able to work, um, up until later in life, everybody should be allowed to work. Okay. So I think there's roles out there. I know there's roles out there. There's a lot of stuff out there. So please, please keep going, keep doing, keep believing, keep striving, be the best you can. Most of all, be a good person, help other people, climb that ladder and achieve a success and that makes you successful. So always do that. Always think about that. Helping others um, will help you in the long run. So, okay. Peace out. Love you guys. Just wanted to share that.